So I've got everything ready to bath Dory. I forgot to actually say this is my new um, little home setup that I've got to do dog grooming in. Um, and Dory will be very nervous and she will probably shake a lot because it's all new to her and she doesn't know what's happening. Um, even like I noticed in lockdown one, um, because I always bath Dory in the salon, um, when I actually bathed her at home, which I videoed, it's like posted somewhere, I think I put it on YouTube or something. Um, she was like really shaking in the bath and I'm like, what's up with you? You don't usually shake. And I think it's just because it was all new to her and she was a bit nervous. So she's going to shake so much. Um, but anyway, I'll stop going on about that. I need to tell you about all the different shampoos. So today I'm going to be using the Yup You Stink um, shampoo for Dory. And I'm going to be using the Keratin um conditioner too um because she's a long drop coat and one of the amazing things about this shampoo and how little you, you actually use so i like to use two pumps of this shampoo which really just isn't a lot i don't think you can see in the bottom but it's like that much the one liter bottle you can just use like a, a, a washing up bottle that you've washed out, like a, a fairy liquid one or something like that, rather than having to go out and buy one of these bottles. But I just wanted to sh show you how little is used. So I'll just fill this up with water now, um, and then I'll just give it a, a good shake to mix all the shampoo around. So I've got a little Dory, I've just got the shampoo ready. I've just put the water in the bottle and given it a good shake. I probably won't even use the whole bottle of that um, because it just goes such a long way. And she's only a little dot. Look at her. Um, so Dory has a little top knot in the top of her head. And she's already shaking, aren't you? Because um, it's all new. She um, has got knots in her head, like on the top. Can you see that? That's like one big knot there. So I'll show you um, a good little tip. Um, that you can use in the bath to help um, get rid of the, the mat on top of her head um, without causing too much damage, coat damage. So this is all new to Dory, so I'll just let her have a little sniff and an explore. I haven't actually ever used one of these baths. I um, bought this bath secondhand off somebody um, and it's just all completely new. So this is like a first time for us. Um, but Dory doesn't seem to mind. She's still shaking a little bit. Um, I'm just going to apply the shampoo straight onto a dry coat. Like that. And you'll see how much it just lathers up. Don't mind it in here, do you, Dory? You good girl. And so I'll just put more on. Because I've got a few bits from the salon, um, because I've got like no equipment here apart from a grooming table and a bath, I actually forgot um, the Zoom room. Um, so a Zoom room or anything kind of like rubber, if, you, if you're not sure what a Zoom room is, I'll put a link. Anything that's rubber, um, or anything like that, you can use to massage the um, shampoo in and it proper really gets in there and gets them clean. It just really helps and it's a nice little massage as well for the dog. But I forgot it happened to Dory. I'm busy talking and I didn't show you what I do with the head here, so I'm just working this shampoo in. Sorry, Dory, I know. And look, see how easy it is just to put put the uh, apply the shampoo to the face without getting it into the eyes. But now that you can see and here this side. So you only need very little. And then you can just work it and get in between there. It's hard with these short faced dogs. 
to actually get in there and oh she just had a bit of eye grot gross by eye so i find that there are a lot of dogs out there um, that come into the salad and they come with big bits of um eye grot so the best way to get rid of that is just keep wiping it every day um and just keep on top of it but if it does build up i have got these flea combs um that you can use i use one for the bottom and one for the eyes to keep to keep them separately so this is my eye one as you can see i need i need a new one really uh, you know knit comb flea comb they're kind of a similar thing you can get them anywhere Dolly. so all you need to do is if there's a big build up like the shampoo soak in and work and get lots of water there um, and just let it soften and once it's softened you just get the comb and just comb away the dirt it's okay. just good to really get in there make sure you wash all the shampoo out because if you don't get all the shampoo off it can actually irritate the skin and, and then it can cause problems. A good tip when you want what rivets in the face is to either lift the head up or lift the head and, or push the head right down so that the water doesn't get up the nose. This is getting a bit hot. Always check the temperature of the water because you don't want it to get too hot. So I'm going to use the uh, keratin conditioner on Dory, um, in particular on her head where I said that she's naughty. I'll just do that bit now, but I am going to just use it all over. Let's rub it in your ear. See how it's just so easy with a squirty bottle, I just love them. Um, so I'll just rub this into her head. proper get in there and you can see here how all the fur is matted and congealed together so I just want to get a bit more conditioner and proper rub it in get it in there so with a mat I just try and part it use the conditioner and try and part the fur whilst the conditioner is in there as much as I can and um, you know, this isn't painful for the dog or anything like that. I'm just parting it. Because it can hurt the dog. Can you imagine like when, when brushing our hair and we get a knot and how much that hurts? That's probably how much it hurts when a dog gets a knot and you have to brush it out. Like we get dogs that are actually covered in mats. Um, and owners just think we can wave our magic wand and get all of these mats out and you know it's really not fair on the dog it's quite cruel like when we have a knot in our hair you know how much it does our heads in so imagine what a dog with um knots all over is like i mean dory must absolutely hate this right now because this has got to be uncomfortable for her and this is just like a small bit of matting so I've parted that fur and Dory obviously isn't bothered at all and she isn't in any pain doing that and it's just like rubbing that conditioner through condition the rest of Dory so I'm just doing literally one squirt rubbing it in my hands and just rubbing it in on her legs you can see how long her fur is on her legs because she has nice flary legs so we have to look after them and ideally, um, back out every week to keep them nice. It's just so important to keep them well moisturised. You can also, if you haven't got any of these like bottly things to use when you shampoo your dog, um, you can, um, like what I'm doing here, a squirt, rub it in your hands well. It just helps it, helps it go further and rub it on your dog rub it in and I'll do tail 
and the back legs just rub gate and um, every single bit, every little inch of the body because not only is it helping the fur but it is moisturising and keeping that skin nice and, and nourished um, so it prevents like flakiness and things like that I'm sorry Dodo Oh dear, you're a soggy doggy. So you can um, just carry on massaging your dog, massaging it in. I find a lot of dogs actually like a face massage and I do this like all the time on all the dogs. And it's just doing little things like that and just making it up really. And I think the dogs really like it. And I know she's shaking, but at the same time, I'm sure she's finding it relaxing. On your dory. So I've got like the conditioner on her at the minute, um, and a good thing is to just brush them through. It doesn't feel right brushing wet hair, it feels really odd, but it really does help to um, untangle and detangle your dog. So if you can, it's always good to brush them. Um, doing them whilst the, brushing them whilst they're wet it can also help to prevent coat damage compared to when you brush them dry because when they're wet the food is quite elastic. So I've just rinsed all the conditioner out of Dory's fur. Oh, you probably want to slide your doggy out the door. Dory is um, nine years old now. She'll be ten this year, ain't you, Dory? Um, there's lots of different kinds of drying towels. You can get like the type of towels, like sham, kind of almost chamois, but not chamois kind of car washing towels. Um, they're called absorbent towels or something like that, but I'll put a link um, so you can find these easy. So whilst they're still in the bath, I'll try and wring out as much water as I can out of Dory's fur. And then use this towel to get her as dry as possible i just went like that and rubbed and that'll just make make it more knotty on top so you just want to not rub the fur necessarily but like pat it dry because otherwise you're just going to create more knots if a fur's short like this it doesn't matter i can give it a bit of a rub that doesn't matter but on long bits I want to just make sure I pat it there. So with some dogs, um, obviously Dory's only little, she and I've squares out most of the water. These get absolutely soaked. So you can like squeeze squeeze them out and carry on using them and just get them as dry as possible so that they're not actually dripping. There's no drips of water coming on. So um when you've done that, you could either get another towel, just a normal dry towel, which I'm going to do, or you could just um Get the hair dryer on them straight from this. Um, so I'll just get my towel and I'll just take Dory over to the grooming table. Oh, 